for watching this video. If you want smoke, then you know I'm coming with it. What's in your pockets? Run them. I'm popping shit, bad Honda is it. I'll track hoes like Honda City. Yeah, I got a bunch of. I feel like Uncle Willie. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are not then welcome back. My name is Asia and on this channel I post beauty and lifestyle content amongst loads of other things from Netflix suggestions to YouTube tips. You can find it all on my channel. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Turn on post notifications while you're down there and go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. It will help me out so so much. So before we get into today's video you already know I have to do my shout outs. If you would like to know how to get a shout out be sure to check out my description box down below. I have all the information for it there. So with that being done, let's get into today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about a new YouTube chapter timestamp feature. I've been getting a lot of questions from people wondering how I'm sectioning my videos, how I'm putting topics in my videos, different things like that. And I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys today because I actually haven't really been seeing many videos on this topic and it actually took me a little while to figure out myself. So y'all already know, I'm gonna put you on game. Now if you're not familiar with me putting people on game on my channel, check out my YouTube tips playlist. I have an entire playlist breaking down all of the growth that I have experienced on YouTube. And in addition to that, I do 20 to 60 minute consultation calls via Zoom. Be sure to check out the description box down below to get more information on that. But let's just go ahead and get into this video. Now, let's talk about the benefits of putting timestamps in your videos other than the fact that it looks cool. Now, we all know YouTube pushes out your videos through the YouTube algorithm. And a big part of the YouTube algorithm is your watch time and audience retention. When someone clicks on a timestamp link, it actually counts as two views instead of one. Not to mention, including certain timestamps is a great way to increase audience retention because your viewers are able to see the topic and skip to certain parts of the videos that they want to see. A lot of times, if you're talking too much or going on a tangent about a specific topic, viewers are more likely to click off. But if they have the option to go ahead and skip to the part that they want to see, you are therefore increasing your audience retention because they are then staying on the video. Not to mention, it makes it easier for viewers to navigate through your video. Now, let's talk about how to do it. You want to go through the video and put timestamps in the description. The way to get timestamps to pop up in your video is to actually put those timestamps in the description box. So you want to start with going through your video and put timestamps in the description and start at zero, zero for the intro and continue from there. Next to the timestamp, you want to put the title or the topic that you want to specify. Or in YouTube terms, you want to put the title of what the chapter is about. Um, for me, I don't get too detailed when it comes to this, especially if I'm putting this timestamp feature in a video that's talking about YouTube tips. I don't want to just list out all of the tips in the description box because then what's the point in watching the video? Now, when you're moving on to another point, it does help to add transitions while you're editing so that when you're moving on to a new point, it's easier to navigate where things are and it makes the video more interesting for the viewer because with the transition, they can literally see that that point is over and you're moving on to something else within the video. Now, that is pretty much everything about using the new YouTube chapter feature. I know that this video Video was extremely short but it's very simple to do so if this video helped you out then please go ahead and give it a big 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 thumbs up comment down below what you want to see next subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a new video thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye